I like to think I'm pretty smart, but I've got nothing on these people who are clearly ahead of their time. From the guy who found a genius way to fill four pitchers of water at once, to the entrepreneur who found the perfect product shot background. These people are clearly already living in 3018. First up, meet this gas station attendant who found a genius way to fill four pitchers at once. Now there's an idea that holds water. As each one fills to the top, the ones below will start filling automatically. No effort required. Next, this police officer has some futuristic ideas about law enforcement. I'm sure those shoes make chasing a suspect a lot easier. He can just bounce over to them like he's on a pogo stick. This kid is really going places. Whether it's home to be grounded when her parents catch her with that leaf blower, or to infinity and beyond, I'm not sure. Then there's this little boy who's decked out in the rain slicker of the future. It's also a great way to ensure you have your own personal space. I'd love to say this dog is living in the future, but being a cell phone charger messenger wasn't his idea. The photographer asked his mom to bring him his phone charger, and she told him to shout for the dog, a brilliant idea for any situation where the dog is the only one interested in getting up. I always pictured getting my hair cut by a robot someday in the future, but this guy had a better idea. He used technology to look at the back of his head while cutting it. Meanwhile, I'm not sure I want to visit this barber of the future. I'd like my head to remain intact while I get my hair cut. Also, I hate when I'm getting a haircut and have to look at myself in the mirror. I prefer to look at my phone. But then again, I don't want my phone to get hair all over it. Fortunately, this barber came up with a genius solution. A cape with a plastic partition so you can use your phone while someone else trims your hair. That ringing sound you hear is the future calling. This man found a clever way to clip his dog's nails by stringing him up in a purse with four leg holes cut in it. Now that's ingenious. Meanwhile, this pooch is ready for anything in his tactical dog helmet. Anyone who's ever been tempted to look at their phone during a church service will appreciate this guy's hollowed out Bible invention. Maybe he's using it to post thoughts and prayers, or more likely to keep up with his lord and savior, Kim K. The news reporter of the future doesn't have time to wait for a photographer to set up a camera. She whips out her selfie stick and jumps right into reporting the news. This kid will probably be the next Elon Musk, as he clearly knows how to make the best possible use of the amenities on an airplane. Does your camera not have enough zoom to get pictures of baseball players all the way down on the field? Not a problem for this guy who used his phone plus a pair of binoculars to take all the pictures he wanted. It was a picture perfect solution. This guy has an idea for when you want to sit close to the TV with your gaming partner but don't want them to glance at your screen. Of course, VR helmets may make this idea obsolete by 3018. Who doesn't love a good nap in the pool? But if you don't have a full-size inflatable raft, you have to improvise. This guy used a snorkel so he could sleep face down in the water. Mowing the lawn is such hard work. If only there was an easier way to do it. This yard cleaner found a solution with the help of a hoverboard-like device. I'm sure Marty McFly will show up to take it back any minute. Today, a lot of people prefer interacting online to face-to-face -to -face interactions. These two people found a way to get around the pesky problem of having to put on pants and leave your house by using these robots for some FaceTime. No shirt, no shoes, no pool? No problem for this enterprising kid who covered his balcony in a tarp and ran a hose from somewhere. Let's hope that balcony can support all that waste or he'll be relegated back to the pre-balcony years. I hate when I want to wash my hair, but my eye makeup is perfect. Come on guys, we've all been there. Thanks to this woman's futuristic idea, I now have a solution. Not sure what to do about that big red mark from the goggles though. Maybe add some concealer? Moving from eyes to ears, this guy got tired of his hat blocking his earphones, so he took a futuristic approach and just modified the hat. Now if he could just come up with a cure for helmet hair. It would be so easy to make a grilled cheese sandwich in the toaster if only I could keep the cheese stuck to the bread before it melts. That's okay, this clever cook has a solution for the future. Turn the toaster on its side. Maybe you think it's a cheesy idea, but I think it looks yummy. I'll admit I have some concerns about the future if it involves using a toilet seat as a hang around your neck TV tray. I just hope that was a brand new, never used toilet seat. Meanwhile, this man is also using a toilet seat to fly into the future. This kid is living in a hands-free future. Those cables are good for more than just charging your phone. I'm not sure if this guy is living in 3018 or if he time traveled back to 2008 before Bluetooth headsets were popular. If your fur children are riding in style, why shouldn't you? 
VR tech can currently help you escape from your actual reality to somewhere better. I'd love to know where this kid thinks is better than a beautiful beach. Meanwhile, this guy is living his best life, sipping a smoothie and blotting out the fairly idyllic looking sidewalk cafe. Maybe he's on a virtual beach. In the future, things will apparently get so virtual that you need to check the time and make sure your wrist is still there under your smartwatch simultaneously. At one point, I thought suitcases on wheels were the greatest thing since sliced bread, but you still need a free hand to drag them. This enterprising traveler has found a way to get around that, no doubt freeing up his hands for texting and taking pictures, and this woman has a futuristic way to watch her iPad while traveling. In the future, there will be a way to pack even more yummy cholesterol into an ordinary slice of pizza. Pepperoni over easy. One restaurant now has touch-free handles for people who don't want to touch the door handle. The germaphobe in me wonders if you aren't just moving the germs to your forearm. Meanwhile, a university restaurant is ready to take the payment of the future, Bitcoin. Now someone just needs to tell them empty beer cans are used as currency in the future. I'm sure there's a commercial ready to sell this guy an expensive medication to prevent itchy, watery, red allergy eyes. But he's already got the solution of the future, goggles. The next time I don't feel like dragging my trash can to the curb, I'm going to try this. Now, if only I could drive from my sofa to my fridge, I'd be all set. Blowing on your food to cool it off is so 2018. Instead, these genius hacks solve the problems much more elegantly. Before I reveal the next example, you should subscribe if you've enjoyed this video. We upload amazing fact-filled list videos daily. Also, make sure to click that bell icon to stay updated or you'll regret missing out on some amazing knowledge that could have filled your brain. Now let's get back to it. Got beer? Got a broken arm? Here's a solution that might just make breaking your arm worth it. Sometimes one umbrella just doesn't cover you. Fortunately, this genius has the umbrella of the future, created from today's current inferior umbrellas. And I'm guessing a lot of invisible tape. Here's another few great umbrellas from 3018, but nothing beats the hands-free umbrella this gentleman has arranged, and it doesn't even require Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. But when you're traveling to 3018, you do want to make sure you're going forwards and not backwards. I'm not sure I want to go scuba diving with this equipment, but it does look ingenuitive. Shopping on a bike is hard today, but in the future, it will be easy with this invention. Let's just hope the store doesn't want their cart back. Same goes for this cheap and easy alternative shelving. Who has time to shower, then leave the house? Not this guy. He's zooming into the future with this invention. Too bad he's all wet. I just hate when I pay a lot of money for tickets to an outdoor concert festival, then they all tell me I can't bring my own booze. And of course, the drinks they sell are way overpriced. This guy found a way to help his alcohol time travel, sort of. He buried it on festival grounds ahead of time, then dug it up after paying and entering. Another event goer used a stealth burrito to sneak in her booze. I'll drink to that. Why blow on your hot food and waste all that energy when you can have a fan do that for you? This noodle lover clearly has life figured out better than our future selves. This man is taking a nap aided by a perfectly placed board. Sometimes low-tech is the wave of the future. Meanwhile, the former Captain Picard has a low-tech but clearly forward-thinking way to eat an ice cream cone. He's beaming up that ice cream. Another clever person has found a new way to eat a banana without having to peel back the skin. It's almost like a banana boat. This relay is so complex, I have to wonder if the person who set it up would have had less trouble just carrying the empty bottles to a more appropriate water spout. Still, major points for the clever use of a skateboard. I love the idea of never washing another dish. All you need is plastic wrap. Why didn't I think of that? Now if only they sold disposable dishes in stores instead of just disposable coverings for dishes. That said, you can always just use the box the food came in. Many reselling sites require the use of a plain white background for photos now, but sometimes you just don't have a plain white anything to use as a background. No problem for this enterprising person who simply used their white cat as a background to take a product picture of some makeup. I'm not ashamed to admit I do some of my best thinking in the bathroom. Apparently, so does the person who drew this picture. I'm not quite sure how the pea turbine would work, but I think it's a great alternative energy solution. Someone in Silicon Valley needs to steal this idea. I wish I'd been half as smart as this kid when I was in school. Hiding his phone in plain sight is a great way to fool the teacher. But what if he needs to swipe right on Tinder? Waking up is hard to do, especially when the snooze button is so handy. Someone apparently overused theirs and had to find a way to stop. 
This gamer couldn't find a leash for his dog and the pup really had to go. So he cleverly improvised and his doggo got to level up to a game controller leash. Which person do you think lives furthest into the future? Let me know in the comments section down below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please leave it a like and subscribe, clicking that bell icon to never miss a new video. Thanks for watching.